865 Gaming Conversations, Episode 2. I'm your host, Gedalia. I am with Ryan Waller. This week, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well. It's going for you. Well, doing all right. Were you playing anything this weekend? Anything good? Yeah, actually, I uh, I worked this weekend working on one of our games, but we uh, did a little Dota-ing. I'm on a Dota 2 losing streak. It's actually been really, really bad. I've lost about 200 MMR. Yeah, I, I don't have a streak because I've never played it, so... Well, you're missing out. Uh, I would say it's really good, actually. I have, I have to try it. I'm, I'm not a MOBA guy. It, I've seen some videos. It looks fun, but it, it doesn't really seem to be. Wait, have game. you played a MOBA? I've not played a MOBA. It just doesn't look like it'd be it's, my thing. It's a team game. It's like FIFA meets Rage meets spellcasting. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Well, right. yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. All right. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I may try it one day, but uh, not I'll, anytime I'll try to get you in the Paragon beta. Not anytime soon. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um... We got right. two quick topics for today. We've got a uh, Xbox One announced that big, every Xbox One big news. Microsoft announced every Xbox One is going to be a dev kit. Game changing news for who? Uh, well, for indies for one. Uh, also for Microsoft. I th- I think it is in in my opinion one of Sony's big advantages in the console war was their ability to grab indies. And make it easy for indies to get on board. Both of these, both Xbox and Sony, are very open to indie devs. It's just the I think Microsoft's beast got in the way. Just all the the red tape and mm-hmm. that process a little bit. Um, and as a developer, their support is not as well done as Sony's is. It's gotten way better, a lot better. Chris Charles has done a great job with Xbox ID. Uh, definitely, that has seen a lot of improvement. I mean, they're pretty much on par now. But early on, Sony really had the advantage of that. Sony dev kits are not cheap, okay? Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you the pricing, but they cost money. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's all relative to things. But that being said, for Microsoft to sit there and say, hey, you know what? Let's make an app that makes all of these dev kits. That's, uh, I'm telling you, they they will get, my, my opinion, mark my word, some game will come to Xbox exclusively or early that, that just because of this deal, that is a hit. The, the game will be a hit. It's nowhere on the radar right now, but it will happen. Sounds like Rocket League. Rocket League came out of nowhere. It didn't. See, that's the problem. The console community is so separated from the PC community. True. Rocket League's been no, huge on Steam. Well, Rocket League, no, Rocket League did. Uh, it, well, it was, came out for PS4 first, and nobody had heard about it. Well, I used to play the uh, Rocket Power Battle Cars back on PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun, and they came out with a new one. It was free when it first came out, and it was great. And it blew up. And now it's on Xbox One, and I hope everybody plays it on Xbox One. Guys, it's it's a great game. It is a lot of fun. Well, I uh, play de- that one. Definitely a little a little plug there. <laughs> yeah, we talked a little bit about a Rocket League uh, last week. The, a couple of videos ago, yeah. it's pretty good. Them opening up these dev kits. Um, are we going to get a chance to actually see some different games that are going to take some riskier chances? Yeah, well, you know, we were talking about that too with Quantum Break. It's gotten a lot of, it's gotten both mixed feedback, but um, it has taken risks. It has done something from a AAA title that we haven't seen. The guys at Remedy, you know, they they did Alan Wake, they did the Max Payne series. You know, that they they know what they're doing, and they've taken some risks that some of the critics have really lambasted them for. So, in my opinion, I I think that could potentially hurt AAA titles having that creative outlet, which I think is needed for this console. To answer your question, yes, I do think indie will, will answer the call. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, one of the things that's happened in the industry is you've had 30,000 people that have lost their job in the last four or five years. Some of those people have been rehired, refired, and so those numbers are a little tainted. But, uh, you know, a lot of people have lost their job. Well, now the tool sets from the Unreal to Unity uh, to CryEngine, the, these AAA quality licensing products can now be put in the hands of a team. So let's say you and I work for Forthright and Forthright's evil owner lays everybody off. <laughs> why would uh, you do that? Why would I do that? Because I'm evil, you know, no. Um, but, and then, so then you go and say, we are out of work. Well, let's go we'll get an engine. Let's do, we can do it. We can do this ourselves. The tool sets now have, 10 years ago, it took 10 people to make a game, to make a section of a game. It can take two guys now. So, you know, you're seeing stuff now, smaller teams making these really cool indie uh, what was the one that's kind of the Nordic games? The uh, little do not know the string guy. Uh, Unravel. Oh, Unravel. You know stuff like Yardy. Yeah, man, Yardy's my dog. So, but that's what I'm saying. That's an indie. Those are AAA guys that have made an indie product. Mm-hmm. Um, 
the, the Scandinavian countries have a lot of, um, they really foster the environment through co-ops and, 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 and startup initiatives to really help gaming. If you look at where the gaming industry is really booming and really doing well, th- those countries are particularly, you know, turn out some really, Finland, you know, Sweden, Norway, they're turning out some really good stuff. So how long do you think we're going to see um, some turnaround on this dev kit announcement? When are we going to start to see some fruits of that? How early do you think? There are people that have stuff right now that, that given the, the ability that, so have a game ready. So the question is, what's the quality control? One of Sony's disadvantages is that they've, they've taken a lot of stuff on. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the 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 PlayStation Network, the um, not the network, but the uh, the marketplace and on the store, it's a dumpster fire. Well, just, I mean, there is some good stuff, stuff there too. Crazy. But I mean, it's not like say the Apple's App Store, you know? Where you no, have, that's terrible. Yeah, you don't have like reskin garbage, but it's getting, I think it's soon. getting close. Well, I mean, I I, I think. But you want that. I mean, you want the options, you know. So, would you rather have these options or have nothing, you know? So, I'd rather have more quality than quantity any day. Sure. But you'll take it. And there are people, even some of the garbage stuff people like. There's some people that just like to play games and have to have a new game, a new fix. So, mm-hmm. yeah. there's definitely benefits. To answer your question directly, I think soon. I think by this summer we're going to see benefits of that. Maybe even sooner. That's quick. That's real quick. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Uh, it. It's time was on the tail. They just announced it. I don't know when exactly you'll be able this to do it. This past week. You can do it now? I, I, I should look. I, I need to look at that. I don't you look, look into that. that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I'm excited about that as a developer. And I know, I know a lot of developers are. When that news was announced, there were some jaw drops. You know. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. The guys at Microsoft doing doing some, some work. Chris Charla, Kenneth Rossman. Those guys are rocking it out out there. So. So Quantum Break will be out by the time this video is posted, but oh, yes. but it's Saturday when we're recording, so we haven't played it. We've seen I've seen the review on IGN; they gave it an eight. You, you didn't ask me if I played it. We never asked it. We never had this conversation. What? You, oh, well, maybe he had played it. <laughs> Dude, me. Wait, no, you can't. You can't throw that in there. Uh, you can't throw that in and I expect me to take I, that bait. I know. Really? It was it was like hooking the you fish. You just too set easy. the hook and just I did. I just, okay. I just yanked okay. that thing back and I see yeah. it. No, I, I have not. I'm I am really looking forward to it. I think this game is going to sell Xboxes. A, a move to get people out of 360s, out of PS4s. I actually know some Sony fanboys that this is this is the game for them. Like this is that okay, Microsoft, I might dip my toe in the water here for you. I need more than one game. There's a lot of great games on the Xbox. Man. I've, I've uh, seen I, one that I really, I can't wait to actually play when I do get an Xbox. The Halos one. are great. I mean, there, there's there's a lot of good stuff. Evolve is better on the on the Xbox and the PlayStation. You know, there's a lot of things like that. I, I, I'm not a fan of well, I like all of them. We, we can go back and forth on that another day. That's, yeah. an, that's another topic for another show. I'm an advocate of not being a fanboy. Every console has games to offer you. Quantum Break, it's going to come out... Uh, April 5th, this Tuesday. April 5th, this Tuesday. Uh, hopefully some people have already had it. If you have the game, comment. Tell us what you think about it. Oh, big thing. If you pre-order the game, you get the Windows 10 version for free. Windows 10. All right. So it's PC and Xbox. Uh, Microsoft is in that, that direction with everything. So all uh, yeah, of there. Yeah, we, um, uh, we talked a little bit about that. So... What to bring? There's a lot of good topics we can bring up to talk with with Ryan. Um, so make sure you come back and watch. We're gonna have him on for a few more episodes. Hopefully, we can get. Uh, I signed. I signed a ten episode contract. Lots of money. Pay me big money. I get paid one American cent per show. I thought. So. We, I thought we paid you in food. That's even better. Hopefully, next week we'll have uh, uh, the other half of my voice will be here. We'll have Ryan here, and we'll get Scott on here, so you have all three of us. That should be entertaining. And I'll give you a little education. If you were in a MOBA, and there were three people in a single lane, it would be called a tri-lane. So we can tri-lane the show. Thank you for uh, watching. Thanks for listening. And I'm never playing a MOBA. Oh, you are playing a MOBA. You are going to play a MOBA. Never playing a MOBA. You like them. They're great.